What's up guys? I'm Ryan with Ryan Epps Fishing. Back out on the water today. Today's episode, we're out here on Douglas Lake chasing down these bass. Y'all stick around. We're on a few today. I just got out here and uh, noticing a little surface activity. Hey, some shad pushed up here. And uh, some bass. There he is. Some bass popping on them. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. Tell me that sucker didn't want it right there. Wanted that rebel pop off. Tell you what. <laughs> what a way to start the morning off. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. That looks like a damn snake. I don't mess with no snakes. Yep. You better move the hell on. Uh-uh. Nope. Who? <laughs> God, I don't like them. She sends me chills all the way down to my begonias. Hell no. Got him. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drum. Woo! Oh, I thought it was a big smallmouth. I really did. Damn it. Oh. It was pretty cool, though. <laughs> what do you do? Yep. Thought we had about a five pound smallmouth. Just a drum. Y'all know I love them drums. We on to something now, guys. Yes, sir. I only found something these things are gonna eat. There we go. Douglas Lake large mouth right there. I switched up, I put a swim bait on. And so far, so good.
There you go. Nice little post spawn fish right there. On the swim bait. I like it. Got him. <laughs> Little fella. Just a little fella. Like that shaky head. Good. Eh, maybe not. Another little feller. They fun though. Keep biting that worm down, we ain't gonna have nothing left. Hit the old shaky head. All right, guys, let's talk about what worked today. Out here on Douglas today, we were able to put a few fish in the boat, uh, got us a decent limit, and uh, had a pretty good day out here. So I'll tell y'all how I did it. I got out here this morning, and I ran into my first spot here. I noticed there was a lot of surface activity, a lot of fish busting up top, uh, chasing bait fish shallow. Um, and the quality of the fish that were up there seemed to be pretty decent. So I started off throwing a topwater plug. And what you saw me throw there starting out was a uh, Rebel Pop R. There's something about a popping style topwater bait this time of year that uh, it's just really effective. And um, if I'm going to throw a popping style bait, that Rebel Pop R is one of my go-tos. It's a fish catcher. Uh, Y'all saw it there on the first couple casts. Uh, put a really nice fish in the boat. But. Funny thing was, we didn't get a single other hit on that bait. Um, 
I fished it there for another 30, 45 minutes and uh, nothing. So what I started looking at was the actual bait fish that they were chasing. And uh, when I first pulled in here, I thought they were chasing shad. But after I got to noticing, they actually weren't chasing shad at all. What they were chasing was these small uh, minnows, crappie minnows. Uh, I don't know the actual term for them, but uh, real slender, small minnows. And uh, there's about 842 billion of them in here. And that is what they're chasing. That's what they're eating. So when they're cued in on stuff like that, it can be pretty hard to, uh, to match the hatch and get them to react to something. Um, I messed around there for a while. Uh, normally you can get them on a fluke when they're like that, when they're up shallow. Uh, I tried to fluke, couldn't get them to react to that. Uh, I seen a couple follow it, seen a couple swipe at it, wasn't committing to it. That let me know that something wasn't right. So I uh, struggled there for a little bit to figure out, you know, what I could catch them on. What I eventually figured out was, uh, and this is not ideal. I didn't really have what I needed, or I think we could have done a lot better on it. Um... Uh, I tied on a swim bait, and it's the same swim bait setup that you all have seen me throw for a couple months now. Um, what I wanted to throw was a 3.8 inch Kitek on a quarter ounce ledge head, micro ledge head, uh, swim bait head. Unfortunately, I'm out of quarter ounce uh, ledge head uh, swim bait heads. And uh, I'm out of a quarter ounce, I'm out of a 3.8 inch Kitek Sexy Shad Color swim bait, which is uh, the color I was getting them to eat today. So I ended up throwing the 3 8 ounce uh, ledge head lures, micro ledge head, uh, swim bait head. And I paired that up with a Kitek. All I had was uh, in this color was the, uh, the 4.3 inch uh, swim bait which was a little big uh, because, you know, like I just said, they were queuing in on those small minnows. So that, uh, that was definitely a little bit too big. I was trimming them down a little bit. If I'd have had the 3.8 inches uh, with me, I would have trimmed those down a little bit too, uh, made it even better. But I had to make do with what I had today. Uh, so I put the 4.3 inch on there. And when I throw a 4.3 inch, Really, um, I, I I felt like I would have done better with a four-odd hook. Uh, all I had with me today was that uh, three-eighths ounce ledge head with a three-odd hook in it, which is just a little bit small for this swim bait. Um, yeah, boy, that's a good time to be doing that. About 95 mile an hour out and through here. Pretty good. We end up in the trees anyway, every video. Why not continue the trend? Uh, where were we? Anyway, I got them to react to this. Um, first cast, uh, I hooked up on a fish. A pretty decent one. Uh, to be honest with you, I had backlashed that first cast. And when I started to reel it in there, I thought it had a, uh, a limb on it. Uh, that fish didn't move at all until it came up and broke water. And uh, I lost that fish because of that. Um, second or third cast there, I picked up another one and got several more key bites throughout the morning on this stretch of bank on that swim bait right there when I couldn't get them to react to anything else. So I wish I'd have figured that out sooner uh, while they were up here and, and really active. I think we could have put more fish in the boat, but that's how it goes. Um, once I got off that pattern and into the trees and out of there, once I got off that pattern, I made a change. Now, what did I switch up to? I started out, I had every intention of coming out here and flipping and pitching shallow cover. It's what my intentions were. But it don't always work out the way you think it's going to work. Um, I don't know if it's the pressure. I know there was a, I'm pretty sure there was a BFL out here uh, last weekend. And I know there's a high school tournament out here this weekend. 
So there's a lot of people out here practicing. And the fish that I found shallow were very, very skittish. So even flipping a quarter ounce weight over to them, it was spooking them. And uh, I had to do something. I had to, you know, I had to tone it down. So what I did was I picked up a spinning rod and I put on a shaky head. Now, what the shaky head let me do was fish the same stuff that I wanted to fish in the same way that a Texas rig was going to, with the exception of I dropped down to that eighth ounce weight and a finesse worm. Now, here's the setup right here. Eighth ounce, standard shaky head. Now, the worm that I've got on there, I kind of changed up between two colors today. Um, the water's not stained. It's not clear either. It's kind of that perfect in between. But, since we had the unique deal today where they're chasing those minnows, uh, the color that I chose, and this is a Robo Worm 6-inch straight tail, the color that I chose is a color called Prism Shad. It's a very shad looking color, very translucent color. And let me tell you, when they're on those shad up shallow like that, um, this color right here can be killer. It's very situational. It doesn't work all the time. It's not one that I pick up all the time. But due to the conditions that we had out here today and just how things set up, uh, this, this worked perfect today. Now, when I would get around some of these areas, uh, I noticed this too. Some of these places when I'd get up shallow, there was just a ton of bluegill up there. And some of these places, there'd be a ton of bluegill, but you wouldn't see the minnows, you wouldn't see the shad. Therefore, if there's any bass up there, they're probably gonna be eating them little bluegill. When I was running into areas like that, uh, I was staying with this six inch robo worm, but I was changing the color up. This color right here is called margarita mutilator right there and tell me that that don't look like a bluegill for sure so when i was seeing areas that had a lot of bluegill i was picking this color up right here it's kind of a peanut butter jelly color it's got some purple brown and uh, i was fishing it exactly the same way uh, i was just keying in on those fish that were targeting those small brim bluegill whatever you want to call them that were up there shallow and uh, I got a couple more key bites on this color right here. You're throwing that shaky head out, letting it hit the bottom, and you're shaking it on a slack line. I'll let it see it. I'll drag it just a little bit, let it see it, shake it on a slack line. Do that over and over and over and over again. And uh, like I say, it is very, very difficult to, uh, to not come out here and fish that thing as fast as you would a Texas rig and just drag it around. But that's not what it was designed to do. And it's not gonna be as effective if you do that. So just get in your mind when you pick up that shaky head that you need to be conscious of conscious. I think that's a word. Your ass needs to be aware of what you're doing. Slow down, shake it on a slack line. Don't drag it a whole lot. You're going to get more bites that way. Good Lord, that was difficult. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all today, guys. If you like the videos, make sure you go hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. That's going to let you all know when I put out all my new videos. If you got any questions or comments for me, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. I will get back to y'all with any answers that I can give you. Until next time, y'all make some time. Get out there on the water and catch you a few. I'm Ryan Epps. Y'all have a good one.